All right, guys, welcome back to another Cichlid Escape video where today we won't be filling that thing up just yet, but that's to come. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you are. That tank's going to look awesome. Today, however, we are using this Aquarium Co-op Easy Planner. So let's get into it. All right, so I just went to the fish store and picked up a few plants. These crypts, as you can see, are relatively small, haven't got a massive root system, whereas these massive pieces of jungle val that I just picked up have got some pretty substantial root systems. And with the amount of soil that I've got in this temporary 55 gallon tank, planting them in here is just not really gonna work. As you can see, this tank's a bit of a mess from when I previously moved it. Uh, it's not going to look like this forever we are going to be getting a fish room again sometime soon um, work on that has yet to be started but hopefully it will soon and anyway with that said i just thought it would be a perfect time to pretty much use an easy planter as i mentioned in the start of the video this tank will be getting filled up soon with some of the fish that i've got in the 55 gallon might put a facade around it unsure going to be using some of these rocks that almost look like river rocks i actually found that one in my backyard so pretty excited to use that and get that tank set up so as i mentioned make sure you subscribe if you haven't already south american cichlid tanks looking good actually picked up a few more fish one of them you can see there and the other newbie the severum is looking pretty solid too but we're going to be using this easy planter today got this from aquarium co-op and Pretty excited to use it considering I just haven't got the available soil in the uh, tank. So all we basically need is some soil that we've got some left over there. We're going to be putting a aquarium coat root tab in there and then we've got the easy planter. This just basically is a little, little plant pot. Um, so we're going to take out some of the crypts just to get them out of the way and then we'll pop the easy planter in and pop some soil over the top of it put the root tab in and then hopefully we should be good to go and this plant will just basically survive and hopefully thrive until we can get it in a long-term setup once we get the fish room done so let's take a crack at it So we got the easy planter in along with the root tab, the soil, and then managed to get the jungle valve put in there. And overall, really, really happy with it. I think it looks pretty solid. Other great thing about these easy planters is that they are not ceramic plant pots or anything else that you could use to basically do this at home kind of DIY method. So they really look similar to the rocks that I've actually got in this 40 gallon tank. This angelfish is just quality, by the way. Also, love that keel cichlid. And I'm really hoping he's a male and starts growing soon. South American tank, as I mentioned, is just doing brilliantly. Really, really happy with the stocking levels and I cannot wait to get them in the 125. Now that everything's settled, Easy Planter is doing brilliant. And as you can see, it looks good. Whatever plant you put in there, it would just look really cool doesn't necessarily fit in with this aquascape and the previous rocks that i'm using but overall you kind of get the idea and i just think it looks awesome if you had three or four or five of those in a tank you could really have it look cool with some pieces of driftwood as well so beside that this tank's not looking too great um, but as i said this will be changing relatively soon and for right now I think it's looking pretty solid, really enjoying the angels, they all seem to be doing good and the massive school of Neon Tetra just look great so it's a relatively cool short term tank for right now and the black neons are just awesome. If you don't have black neons but you're looking for a schooling fish or a kind of tetra I would highly advise them, super hardy, pretty available um, in pet shops all over the US and I imagine the UK so give them a whirl if you would like and we'll just leave you with a last little look of the tank with the easy planter 
and of course the fish so hope you've enjoyed this one guys just a short and snappy one we'll have plenty of updates coming soon and hopefully we'll get to set up that 125 soon as well so stay tuned subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching